happy August, everyone, uh, and welcome to our first uh, new member uh, Q&A via Zoom. Uh, we had a little hiatus in July, so it's it's great to be back with everybody. Uh, we do these twice a month, and um, the purpose is just to allow um, folks to ask questions in a, a live sort of setting. Um, we have a lot of really wonderful ways for communication on Wikitree, but but sometimes uh, G2G or even Discord, um, which um, are only via via text, um, and there's a time lag and there's a lack of face to face contact. Um, you know, it's it's not the same as as a sort of almost. This is as close as we can do of sitting down side by side and giving giving help to uh to to people. Um so my name is Betsy Co. I um I was the one who started uh these sessions up and uh Steve Greenwood who's in the brown hat and shirt um was at the very first session and um and just really? kept I was at the back. first one. <laughs> you were. You were. I, I remember forgot. that distinctly. <laughs> and you were you were super helpful and you know it just it just became a thing. And then um, Murray Maloney with the uh, wonderful painting backdrop. Um, also, also, Murray, you you were fair. You started fairly early, as I recall. OK, I, I don't remember. I don't know when you started, but yeah. yeah, a couple a couple of months in and because uh, it would have been, well, sometime in 2022, I guess. Yeah. Um, so um, I'll just give a little little background on myself. Um, I've been on Wikitree for five years, and uh, my my family background is uh, in Taiwan on my father's side, and then in Great Britain and um, <clears throat> Canada on my my mother's side. So I'm involved in those projects. The projects are a great way to uh, connect with others who um, are researching in the same area as you. So we have country projects, we have sort of regional um, United States projects, for instance, our Appalachia project is fantastic. Um, and uh, we, we have other ones as well, um, dividing out um, the United States. So I highly recommend joining a project. Um, and I'm also very active in the events committee. Uh, so that involves setting up uh, events on Wikitree. You may have heard about, we have connectathons and sourceathons. And so I, I help with that and serve as a mentor. So um, Steve, you wanna go next? Sure, you wanna put me on the spot like that. So again, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve Greenwood, uh, Greenwood 3667 on Wikitree. Uh, I just crossed my fourth anniversary here on Wikitree here in July. So now I've been here since 2020, four years on. Uh, I had to take a little bit of a hiatus just because I have so many other hobbies, you know, and real life can interfere with your ability to, you know, want to focus on one thing at a time. Um, and uh, I have a uh, Wiki founder. I, I have a Wiki uh, background going back 20 years. Uh, so coming into Wikitree, uh, when I did was, uh, you know, just very nice fit uh, for being able to already have the background that I had and then being able to do what I want to do hobby wise, you know, work on the family tree that I had. Um, and uh, again, my background is also German uh, and a little bit of Scots Irish through my paternal side. So still investigating that. And uh, the Germany project is one I work with uh, regularly. Uh, I'm also a part of the Germany Genies team when we come to Connectathon. So I'm usually on that team helping them out. Uh, a lot of Wisconsin overlap with the Germans, so I, I work on a lot of Wisconsin profiles, for example. Um, and then I've also dabbled in, you know, various other name uh, studies, one place studies, and then I'm trying to see about this whole uh, Tanzania project, you know, to help out the global project a little bit. So that's me. Wonderful. Yep. Hi, I'm Marie Maloney. Um, I um... I help out around Wikitree. I write uh, technical documentation for the um, web browser extension and for a couple of Greg Clark's uh, tree apps. I um, 
uh, one of my ancestors is a uh, what was a native um, native Canadian woman, and uh, so I've been responsible for a research project involving her DNA and her descent her, her descendants DNA. Um, and uh, generally, I help out. Um, I have I have quite a few um, orphans and adoptees that I've been helping lately. Um, members of my family, so my blood, but but uh, they don't know where they belong, and we're trying to figure that out. Um, and, uh, and I, and I like helping here. I remember that, um, when Betsy Co first met me, she, she commented that I had asked some good questions in a, in a session that we were in and she asked <laughs> if I would join this group. And I, I said, I'd love to, um, yeah. so, uh, so here we are. And, uh, so let's, let's get down to you because you've got some questions and you want answered and we've taken up enough of your time talking about us. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, two volunteers who have graciously agreed to let us, um, you know, look at their profiles and answer their questions, uh, Natalie and Elle, and uh, we'll also try and protect some time at the end for any other questions. Um, please go ahead and put those in the chat, maybe put a big Q at the start of your question. Um, and I, I want to say just before we dive in, no question is too basic. Um, so, so please don't feel like, oh, I don't want to ask that because everybody else seems to be farther along. That's, that's, this is the place, the safe space for asking any question, um, about how to get started on Wikitree. So, uh, so Natalie, um, I've got your profile up, so let me share my screen. Um, Natalie, I, I know you you talked to us uh, a little bit before we started um, recording, but would you just uh, say briefly, you know, your background in, in genealogy and on Wikitree? Yeah, mostly I have um, a lot of what I have on here. Uh, I have a couple of relatives in Australia, cousins in Australia that have been researching with me on my maternal side. And so we've done a lot of this research together and a lot of the maternal side uh, information uh, was uh, uploaded to Wikitree with those cousins. So with this uh, Christopher Brand Nugent Nixon, my grandfather, um, that whole side, uh, my cousins and I have put in together. And then uh, with my dad's side, I've I've loaded that too. But like I was saying before, I I am not I don't have a lot of experience with this, and I'm I'm a little bit hesitant to do any work with it because of the uh, stringency of what you put on here. It's a lot more, I'm a lot more careful with this than I am with Ancestry and the stuff that people just put up willy nilly on Ancestry. I've had them show uh, like one of my great grandfathers having kids at eight years of age, which mm -hmm. I found a little bit surprising. And so, you know, I, I just, I, I don't want to make any mistakes and I don't want to be putting in things. I, sometimes I, I'm not sure if I'm doing things properly. So I want to learn to do it right before I start All right. loading things up. Sure. And that, that's one, a wonderful uh, uh, attitude to, to bring to wiki treeing. We actually talk about it as a, use it as a verb. Um, I, I think the one of the most important things is just to, to, uh, to source source um carefully with you know vital records and and things that um really do show the relationship and then of course put the put the thought into it like you were saying you know obviously um an eight-year-old boy is not going to become uh you know not going to be having, having children <laughs> right so yeah. So, um, you know, we we uh you know cast a critical eye over things um and then be open to collaborating with mm -hmm. others. As you get farther and farther back in time, it is more likely, of course, that you're going to share that ancestor with with other wiki treers, and that's where the collaboration comes in. Um, you know, I mean, the the fine fine sort of um, details about how does it look. You know, once you've sourced well, if if it if you know appearance things. We could we could tweak that, and there are things people have personal preference about how they like their pro their profiles to look. Um, Steve has a point to uh, make, and just to add to that, uh, because of our format, so we can write narratives. 
we can create biographies for these people. They're not data points. We can flush out all the different parts of their lives. And in the process of doing that, it allows us to see discrepancies and inconsistencies in those sources much easier than if it was on another site where it is just a bunch of data points. Uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like in the process of building up that story is where you'll make those discoveries and that you'll find yourself to become a better um, you know, family tree researcher, genealogist. Uh, so I just right. wanted to add that little part to that. Yeah, I prefer that anyway, instead of just a whole list of dates on a person to get their stories down. It makes, uh, it right. makes the whole right. research thing. That, that's what we Seems like about dry. this hobby, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, also, I also loved on Wikitree that we can, Steve's totally right about the narrative. Um, and then also we can add research notes. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I know on Ancestry, there is like a teeny tiny box that you can click and then, you know, you add a note, but then it's not visible. Right. Whereas on Wikitree, it's, it's very, very prominent, mm -hmm. which is helpful for others. Okay. So um, who should we look at? Where do you, where do you wonder like, oh, am I doing it right? Is there someone on your ancestors? Uh, yeah, should... actually, if my I'm looking, it looks really interesting. Well, um, I was what I've been focusing on lately, uh, Hermance Marie Mark on my father's side. Okay. So his, okay. Uh, his so the great, -grandmother. great grandmother there after yeah. Gosley. Yeah. Uh, Do I have her mother, Delphine Lamel oh, Mark? There we go. So her mother um, was. Oh. Her. Okay. So oh. I'm trying to go further back from her. Uh, so her both her sisters were listed as free women of color in New Orleans. And so I'm trying to find documents for them. And okay. uh, it's a, the, a lot of a lot of uh, surprising things are coming out on that um, that that I'm, I'm trying to find documentation on and I, I'm not sure where to where to dig that up and where to put this information on here. So okay. I don't know where to throw that in there. I haven't found documentation on Delphine on anything about whether she's listed as a free woman of color in here, but I guess I can put in, in the biography uh, and put the documentation in there for her sisters or should I put that elsewhere? Um, should I put her sisters in there and show the documents, uh, whether it was, I'll have to look it up again, whether it's their birth records or their marriage records that they're free women of color. Right. Well, Generally speaking, yeah, when you're um, when you're talking about um, whether it's the children of the profile subject or, or in your case, the sister, yeah. um, you probably want to do a link to to the uh, to the relative. But but put that person's information in their own profile. Okay. So so, for example, um, uh, let me just uh, pull up one of my profiles. Um, within my this biography here, you can see Charles was born in Thornbury uh, to mother Eliza Tudor. And then what I've done is I've hyperlinked that mm -hmm. so that it takes it straight, the person straight to, if they want to find out more about Eliza, they can do that. So there's a formula, and maybe Steve or Murray could put that in the chat. The, there's a formula, and I, yes. I'll go to edit so you can, oh, wait, no. I don't want to go to edit in her profile. So I'm typing it up right now. I want to name of her turn. Person. Okay, let me go back to Charles. Do you see that, Natalie, in the chat? Okay, let me bring up the chat. I don't have well, that. Why, why don't you Why don't you grab it using the ID and using the scissors? Show chat. Show right. Okay. Chat. So now I'm in. I'm on back on Charles' profile, and I am in edit mode. And so you can see. Okay, this is all the same thing that I just read, but now you can see that I have. This is what creates the hyperlink. Okay. Is the two square brackets yeah. and then 
whatever the ID is, in this case, Tudor 1283, and then a pipeline. Uh, it's, it's the vertical line um, on my keyboard. It's sort of upper upper right hand corner ish, and mm -hmm. then the name. And uh, the you know if I wanted to do her full you know her full name middle name I th I could even include her her date of birth and and date of death I could do that. But this is this this is what the reader will see. Whatever I put there after the pipe, and then you close it off with the two brackets again. So you hand type that in. You either can do that or what Murray's talking about. Let me return. So it's a so, shorthand button. So there's a shorthand button. I see. Um, so, so let me go to Eliza. And up here I next to her okay. name, that okay. will copy her ID, copy the wiki link. Okay. That's what you want is the wiki link. Okay. Yeah. So um, I would say that's the best way to sort of tie family member stories together is with the hyperlinks. I see. Okay. Natalie, I, I think that what you were trying to ask was there, there are records for the sisters that su suggest that they were free women of color. Yes. And so you, you want to say something on Catherine's profile about that with the, with the, with the inference being that she probably was also a free woman of color. Yes. So th to say, basically, watch out and see if we can find records that that uh, show that this is also a possibility. All right. So there's two ways you can do that. Um, so what one way is you could put it in the bio, but it wouldn't really be some truth about her. Right. It's really some truth about her sisters. Right. But it's useful research information, like you said. Yes. So. We might want to have a research notes section. And in that research notes section, you would say um, Catherine's sisters, and then you'd have a link to each of them. Okay. Okay. Catherine's sisters, name and name, are noted on their such and such records. Okay. That they were free women of color. Okay. We have not found a comparable record for Catherine. And we should be on the lookout for one. Okay. And see that there's a research note that you can leave behind for anyone that, to see, and also to remind yourself that this is something you're still looking for. Okay. And where is that section? Yeah. So let me see if I can. We create it. <laughs> mm, okay. Here's a profile that I did recently where um, I I really I had to uh, oh. do a bit of a bit of a. Uh, finagling to finally figure out her maiden name. And so um, uh, I put in these research notes. There were, there were clues along the way that told me that I was getting warmer, warmer, hot until finally I was able to prove it. But the, the research notes, and I'll show you in edit mode in a second um, how you get that, is after the biography. You okay. have biography, then research notes, then sources. So if I go into edit, let's see what that looks like now. It's very easy to insert. So you'll notice um, at the very, very top, I have my categories. Mm -hmm. um, and then biography has two equal signs, biography, two equal signs. Um, if you're going to include anything like a sticker, um, that would go directly under biography. Then I have my bio, everything in my bio. Then I just manually inserted this section, research notes. Right, following the same format. Okay. Following the same format. Um, and you'll see here that I, I there's a signature that basically I just wanted to take uh, responsibility for what I'm saying here. Um, and I, I I usually do that unless it's extremely cut and dried, you know, mm -hmm. just to take ownership. Um, and the way you create this is to type four tildes in in uh, edit mode. So let's see. Um, I could do it here because 
those are the little curly cues that are on the upper yeah, left hand side of your uh, keyboard. Okay. See, one, once you've done done it, it it will show up forevermore as as yep, uh, the signature like this. But let me two, two, three, right. four. Okay, oh, that's and that's, that's going to be my. So this is about her death record. Now I'm going to I'm going to say that's a formatting thing. Save. And now you can see that after that sentence about the death record, that's me, right. the date, the time. Okay. Okay. And it's an UTC time, so. Right. Right. Reflects right now. Okay. All right. So, so I you have... could you can leave lots of research notes, right? That that that's what they're that's what that space is there for. And research notes are stuff that you think is important but it's not a fact that's supported with a citation okay now you may have a partial fact that is supported with citation but you're not sure whether it's actually relevant to this person so you you can put that in a research note too right if you and so you can include the citation mm -hmm. and that'll show up in your in your sources but mm -hmm. it'll it'll tell people hey i've got this information but i'm not 100 percent certain about it right Okay. Now we could take it one step further, and this is a more advanced concept, but you don't need to worry about this. If you eventually get to the point where you have so much information and you feel like it's going to be crowding the profiles and everything, yeah. and we have what's called a free space page. And you can create a free space page to talk about the story of the sisters in a much wider aspect and then link back to their profiles for more of the details on them individually. So okay. if that's something you're interested in the future, you can always do that as well. Okay. Right. And well, beyond that, I also, um, it took me years and years to find her grandson's marriage record. And he was born and raised and died in New Orleans when he was about 30 years old. Could never find his marriage record. I, it, uh, like 12 years. I eventually found it in Mississippi. And when I called the, the, um, the place that had it, they said, oh, we can't find it in the in the book. And then they said, oh, wait a second. It's not in the regular book. It's in the colored book. Oops. Interesting. So he was also listed as black and he went to Mississippi to get married. And so she was not listed as black. Her sisters were and her grandson was. But the rest of his family was still in New Orleans listed as white. Why did he go to Mississippi to get married? And why was he listed as black when the rest of his family is listed as white? So this is all very mysterious. Mm -hmm. So I can put him on that page also mm -hmm. under biography. I mean, it, there's a whole lot of stuff happening in there. And again, that person would be which one? Well, so you said it's her grandson? Her grandson, Samuel, who is my great grandfather. So oh, it's that... Samuel Edward. No, it's Lucille's dad, Samuel. Lucille Marie Gosley, her it's dad, Samuel. There. Um, oh, okay. I, I may have dad. So if I go to her. Bit. Is that Gosley 89, Samuel Gosley? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Him. Well, I may, I may have dipped in a little bit beforehand just to check something out. and. Uh, yeah, so they, that marriage in 1890. I have my grubby fingers yeah, all over. I'm sorry. Mississippi marriages. Yeah. When I called them, they say, no, we don't find it in the book. And then she said, oh, wait, here it is. This is actually interesting uh, segue because uh, you'll notice that uh, I'm the profile manager right now. And that's because it did not have a profile manager on it. I just wanted to, you know, secure it up so it wasn't free floating out there. But I can easily give it back to you if you want to be the profile manager on it. Maybe we can even demonstrate that right now. Okay. Uh, so let me take yeah, over. Yeah, why don't you take over and go ahead and do that? Yeah, because I already have the page up here. Yep, go for it. Okay, so, so I'm going to go into share screen. I'm going to kick you out. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's going to be this page. Um, All right. Can, Natalie, can, can you go to that page too? I am on that page right now. Okay, now would you go to the, um, what's it called? The privacy page, uh, privacy settings? But... Um, Let's, I'm going to the privacy page. No, yeah. I know, but she doesn't want to give her email over over the I, air. I know. Right, I was, I was right. Say, so, so um, Natalie, yeah. could you go to the privacy settings, please? Yes, I'm there. And go down to the bottom where it asks uh, to join the trusted list. Click on that. Okay. And just to, you don't have to type anything in, just send it. Okay. 
And now Stephen is going to get that. Okay. Now, is that going to come through my email? Yes. So I have to go to my email. <laughs> um, yeah, you do. Oh, let's do that without screen share then. <laughs> But then I can establish it once I get the, the page going here. Let me just. Well, I thought it would that. just show up for you. Well, right. I don't want to expose hers if it comes through. Yeah, I understand. Uh, so I am opening up my primary email right now. Should be back on just the uh, everybody's faces right now. Okay, yep. There it is. WikiTree. Uh, WikiTree access request from N Tubbs would like you to add them to Samuel Gosley's trusted list. It's pretty immediate. Uh, yeah, I can see the emails right in front of me here. So we're, we're just going to say that I did this. I'm going to add you to the trusted list. Uh, follow this link, and I'm going to click on the link, and that's going to trigger it. And now trusted list edition is complete. So now we can go back to the profile, because I, I think we might be safe in that regard. Um, yep. Okay. Yeah, the email won't show. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to screen share. Uh, we'll go back to Samuel Gosling's profile. Okay, everybody can see that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go into privacy. Now, if I want to change who the manager is at the profile, I should be able to select the person who's already on the trusted list. Right. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. See, they're hiding down there. Damn, you can't do anything. <laughs> but just imagine that I'm going to click on your name. I'm going to transfer ownership over to you, and then you will be the profile manager of this profile of your ancestor, which is the appropriate thing to do, right? You should have access to at least the majority of your ancestors within several generations. And then from there, you might have shared um, uh, trusted list overlap or, or trust uh, manager overlap with other people who are your cousins. You know, and that's gonna happen as you start running into your cousins, like third, fourth, fifth, et cetera. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stop the share so I can actually do it without exposing the email address. And then you should receive, I think, another email confirmation that you're the trusted or, or that you're the profile. Yeah, okay. uh, so let me do that now as no one is looking. So well, well, you're doing that behind the scenes, Steve. Um, yeah. Let me just um, explain mm -hmm. that the trusted list is um, it can be no people to as many people as you want um of individuals money? who um who have uh basically full access to to edit the profile now i will say this in an older profile it's required to be open anyway so mm -hmm. any really so so it's if someone has died more than 100 years ago or was born more than 150 years ago, um, their their profile is required to be open. And so that means that anyone can go in and make mm -hmm. a change, unless yeah. it's, it's a notable, a project protected kind of profile, like like Henry VIII, you <laughs> couldn't just go in and uh, make, make a huge change to his profile because um, he's medieval <laughs> it's different rules for him no, um, sometimes sometimes why you want to be on the trusted list is because you want notifications when anything changes on that profile yes yes, yes. okay so, so i wanted to bring it back in i made her the profile manager yep i assume that's the correct pronoun and then uh i removed myself as manager so after i made her manager, we were both managers, and then I removed myself. So now this is the screen that I get. I have removed myself from the trusted list, which also counts in this case as manager. And then we can see that uh, there's NTubs as profile manager, uh, and it links back to the profile uh, of that person who's now the manager. Okay. So now you have full control over this to your heart's content. Uh, but again, like they said, other people can still edit this because it is considered a open profile. Again, looking at the upper right-hand corner, you can see that open uh, white colored uh, padlock. So the padlock is open, meaning that it is accessible by other people who have signed the honor code on Wikitree so the Wiki genealogist can edit it. I believe family members are a little more restricted if you want to clarify that. And then obviously non-members can't go in and edit it. Mm -hmm. So those those are the restrictions still built in place for us. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Don't, I'll get out of screen share again. And you are 19 degrees away from him. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are a little more advanced things that pop up sometimes. You may not yeah. see that on your end. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, those are there. There are several browser extensions uh, that you can add. Um, WikiTree browser extension. Murray already mentioned that in the Sorcerer extension. Um, so as you become more more advanced, um, they really are extremely helpful. So um, you'll want to explore those. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, I, I want to make sure we have time for for Elle's questions. Yep. Uh, do you have any last pressing uh, questions? No, no, I think that's helpful. I can start putting some okay. things on there, making sure I just get my sources in there. I think right. I think I have a little bit that I can get rolling on. So go ahead and go to Elle. Yeah. And a lot of those other profiles, again, were orphaned. They don't have any profile managers. And if you add yourself as profile manager, they should show up in your watch list. Okay. Your watch list is an important area we can manage everything that you're in control of. Okay. Thank you. You'll, well, you'll want to go through those and click on All right. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And um, Elle, what is your, can you remind me of your profile ID? Uh, it is Marson 70 something. <laughs> Hold on. 50, uh, 53. 53. I apologize. 53. Okay. And that's M-A-R-C-I-N. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm pulling that up. Um, would you just for the, uh, for the folks who are watching after the fact, can you give us a little summary of when did you join WikiTree and what's your research goal, you know, what you're hoping to accomplish and um, so I joined Wikitree uh, a few months ago, and I was kind of poking around trying to find um, like relatives and things like that. Like I said, I know some closer relatives, but you know, who are we related to further back than that? Um, what countries are we from? Like, I just, I don't have people that are still alive that I can ask those questions of, but I have names. And so these, you know, these are the ways that I can start finding those things out. Um, and so as I was kind of poking around, I realized there's this big branch of my family that I would love to be able to connect myself to on here, but mm. I don't know how to do that. Got it. Got it. Um, okay. And part of it is I don't like, where do, where do we go to find sources? How do we track down those types of things? So as you can see, I have nothing linked to me currently. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's partially because like, you know, all, all of these people would be protected profiles because they're still alive. Uh -huh. Um, so I know that my dad's grandmother has a very unique name. And yes. so that was a good place for me to start because uh -huh. I knew, I knew she was going to be the only one. <laughs> yes. Um, should we, um, this is, this is actually, um, gives us content for a wonderful discussion and like an example. Um, so what is your, what is your great grandmother's surname? Uh, Mattingly, M-A-T-T-I-N-G-L-Y. Okay. All right. This is where the so, fun begins. Uh, from, from the homepage, I'm just searching in. And do you know her first name? I do. It's Cliffy Joe. Okay. So uh, C-L-I-F-F. -F Y E Y E J O. And that's, okay. I don't know if it's a space or if it's a hyphen for okay. Cliffy Joe. Oh, is it two words? It's, or is I it don't, yeah, it's two words, but I don't know if it's a space between Cliffy oh. and Joe or if it's a, or if it's a hyphen. I would just space right. it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what, let's see what happens. So the, uh, the system is, is going to, um, you know, cast a, a wide net, you know, mm -hmm. just in case there's spelling variations with the right. names, et cetera. So you can see we've got 25 matches. Do you know about, uh, do you know anything about when she was born? Uh, um, it would have been Kentucky. Okay. Um, and hold on. I, mm -hmm. I do have it up on another window. Give me one there's second. Mary Josephine in Kentucky. But Mary see. Josephine yeah. is related to her oh, uh, oh hold on give me fun. one second oh and then and hot I, I believe that's her i believe that's her christian name 
Okay. Oh. Well, let's. So now is Mattingly her made her birth name? Yes. Or, okay. Mattingly. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Mary Josephine is her mother. Okay. All right. Oh. Great. Oh. Wow. Okay. She so doesn't Mattingly have any children. Is her mother. Right. So she's not listed as having any children, and she's not listed as being married to the man she married. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've talked to one of my cousins uh, from that side of the family, and we think it's because uh, I think she married a Catholic, and they mm -hmm. were not, ca or she didn't marry a Catholic. They're Catholic, and she married somebody outside of the religion. So we think that she may have been estranged from them. Not your first <laughs> Exactly. So she is not listed as um, having any children, and yet I'm a direct descendant from her. Wait, I, ha I have a question, though. I, I noticed that she has the title sister. She's a nun. She's a nun. She She's a sister of mercy. Um, she definitely had kids, and she died in Napa, which is where... Her son actually died in Napa last year, or her, I'm sorry, her grandson, my okay. grandmother. Napa, California? No. Yeah, Napa, California. So his Ooh. name. This is a different is... person then. What? This, this is a different person that we're looking at. Yeah. I don't know, because this one says Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, let me find, find a grave. Hold on. Let me put into the chat the one that I am looking at sure. this is on ancestors.com or dot org okay so this is the Cliffy Joe Mattingly she was born the 3rd okay. of October 1910 in Kentucky and she died in Napa in 93 we're, we're looking at somebody different oh I apologize it's okay it happens <laughs> a lot of people have the same name but this one does say Napa, California. Uh, okay, Breckenridge, uh, Dayton, Campbell County, Kentucky is where she lived. So we have some more specifics. Um, and we would we would want to cite this because this is Family Search. Uh, this has four sources, uh, including United States Census, marriages, and it links to a Find a Grave index. So mm -hmm. we could you know link to the Find a Grave uh, citation is at the bottom of that page directly. Um, Steve, Steve, what is the death date? Uh, May 29th, 1993. 1993. So 30 years ago. Okay. So I'm going to, um, uh, you can, you can filter for any of these, um, columns. So you said 1993. So it looks like your, She's your not in here. is not in on WikiTree. Right. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. You're going to change that now, Steve? Me? Me? Why don't I? Just asking you, you you're looking well, at I mean, me. I would like to give the person the opportunity to create the profile, but if sure. yeah. they want well, me to do it, I could do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have the page open. <laughs> um, I'm making free floating leaf right now that uh, <laughs> you'd have to connect to. So, Elle, I, I see that you haven't signed the honor code yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Um, just, uh, just wanted to encourage oh, wow. you to do that. Um, where would be the uh, link for her to do that? More, more um, sort of things that you can do on WikiTree. Mm -hmm. So how do I get to that? Yes, you actually should now from your from your what you're looking at on the computer on your profile, you okay. should be getting some prompts like, wouldn't you like to sign the honor code? <laughs> um, do you find it on WikiTree itself? Yeah, let me let me go to yeah. it. Reader. Nothing I had to worry about because I did it four years ago. <laughs> okay, there. Membership. So, yeah, if you go, if you go to um, in signing the honor code. There, let me. And I'll I'll just while I'm putting that in the chat, I'll let everybody. Um, just have a look at that. Oh, nine main tenets. Haven't had to change it recently, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like we should re be reposting this in like our 
Facebook group or some other places <laughs> where you know people might be forgetting some of the the common concepts that uh you know make make our site the place it is. But uh, you can't control what happens outside in the other parts of social media. <laughs> Um, I apologize. I am not seeing anywhere on here that says the. Really? Are you on your profile? I am. You are. And can you click on, let's see, it's sort of hard for us because. Hmm, uh... We're already. Oh, honor the code. There it is. It's under the, the help tab. I just. Okay. Gloss right okay. over it. Yep. There we go. Well, it's, awesome. so yes. it's right there. Yeah. Oh, you're now a member. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going through the process of uh, reviewing that? And then is it allowing you to become a wiki genealogist? Or uh, what do you see? Um... You have a little pineapple right now. Uh, it just... Hold on, go back to my profile. Uh, yeah, it says Wiki Genealog Genealogist and Honor Code Signatory. There you go. Yeah. 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 I just yeah. 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 you want a bus now. Yay! <laughs> One of us. One of us. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. So no uh, <laughs> yeah, what I would suggest, even though we were looking at your great grandmother, and Steve was was saying, "Well, I can create a branch." Um, I would suggest that you do you you go methodically, right? So so put a profile for your for each of your parents, and then you know build back. Um, you can you can save siblings for for a rainy day. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, although we they really can be very very fruitful. Um, to add in my know, siblings are easy i've got one brother he has no spouse no kids easy peasy <laughs> right, right well actually i'm what i'm talking about is like say your grandparents siblings yeah like a lot of times people are are just really fixated on my direct great ancestors mm -hmm. But those collateral lines, the sidelines with the your your aunts, your uncles, your great aunts, your grand uncles can be really um, helpful in connecting you in. So the next thing for you, Elle, will be connecting you into the big tree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, and those uh, little dangling pieces can lead to cousins. And maybe right. some of your cousins are already on WikiTree yep. and they share the same great grandparents, great great grandparents, et cetera. So, yeah. so making those connections will help you, uh, you know, find better relationships on the Wiki. Right. Uh, right. And, right. Um, and patiently have your hand up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Betsy, remember to tell them about, about the living people, about be sure not to put any living people on. Um, their family. right yes thank, their you. thank you very much Ann. so um wikitree has as you saw in the honor code one of the big tenants is is to respect privacy and respect you know in individuals desire or not desire to be or not be on on a site like wikitree so um like say you your you mentioned a sibling um you should um if you're going to create a profile for them, invite them to be, uh, to join Wikitree. They can join just as like a family member, just like you were, but just, um, it would just require, let's see, let's, let me, supposing, supposing I was going to create, I'm not going to go through, through with this. Oh, I can't join your trust. <laughs> let me, let me do this from me. Okay. So supposing um, I wanted to add a sibling. Oh, well, yeah, I don't have any siblings, but I'm going to, I'm going to just pretend for a second that I do. Okay. I'm going to create. And so here's the creation. Um, uh, what you'll see 
And um, if I were to say, I'm, uh, let me just make something up. William Co. Uh, birthday, let's say 1970, uh, New York. And then uh, death date, blank because living. Okay, and so immediately what that does is it gives me this field for an email address. And it, it will, um, the system will automatically, um, there's like a, a, a sort of a form, but if you want to enter in, um, you know, some words of your own, that would go down here, comments for invitation. And then you would continue. I'm not going to follow through on this, but that's really critical. And then um, that would give your sibling a chance to either say, yes, so, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, join as a free member or no, I don't want to be visible. And in that case, their profile will become um, an anonymous placeholder. So it will be there, but only you can see it and it'll be really locked down to protect for privacy reasons. So, all right. Um, so let me, let me. Let's see, open up the new tab. Okay. So you might want to go back to your other one. and Make yeah. sure you click on no siblings again. Exactly. <laughs> or just exactly. clear out of it altogether. Right. So I'm. Sadly, no, no, no siblings. I have the star draft. Yeah. Right. Edits. I have no siblings. Okay. Thank you, Dory. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll say that's formatting. Wait. You didn't actually make a change, so it's not going to let you. No, in. just return okay. to profile about saving, right? Yeah. Okay, Dory. Oh, Nothing oh, happened. Great, great. <laughs> um, so um, would you would you like? Let's see. Are both? Would you like to try and create a profile now, or uh, one of your parents, or are they both living? Uh, they're both living. Okay, then let's not do that. Um, but um, how about the deceased ancestor that we have the link to? That she provided. Okay. Well, we, we at can... least can make that uh, yeah. that floating leaf that eventually yeah. can be connected into. Right. Okay. Um, so I didn't I didn't see that link that that's in the chat. You said. Oh I yeah. Did. Drop it in the chat. did you want to do it or did you want me to do yeah, it? You want to take over? Um, I will cool. do it. Yeah. I, I will be a good person. Um, okay. So I'm going to share screen. Okay. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, we'll kick you out. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm on your profile, and, and I haven't refreshed it, so it still shows that it's you know a guest situation here. Uh, but um, I can't see your screen, Steve. You can't see my screen. Mm. Can you see it now? I I can. I can. Oh really? Let's see what's going on. I don't know. I mean, I did kick you out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hold share. on. Let me stop the share. What do you think? Then say? we'll start over again. So we're all of our faces are here, right? Yep. Uh -huh. so for the ones that choose not to be. Uh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go back to her profile. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm seeing it. Good. Okay. And I did refresh it, so now I can see that she is a wiki genealogist and assigned the honor code. Congratulations, L. Um, okay. So I'm going to just go to create a new person. This person has no connections to any existing profiles yet until we connect them into them. Um, let's see, where did all my links go? This this, this bar gets in the way. Uh, okay. Can you see the page I pulled up for Cliffy Joe Mattingly? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me actually reduce this. I'm going to make this smaller so I can see it. Uh, okay. So we know that there's a birth date, October 3rd, 1910, death date, uh, May 29th, 1993. And it, again, it is acceptable to upload this person even though they passed away 30 years ago right it's still acceptable for us to do this mm -hmm. okay yeah. um and i want to make sure that if there are these dates i mean this this is the tricky part because sometimes these sources 
don't actually cover the birth dates and death dates. We may have to come up with these after the fact. Yeah. But I need to have something in place to make sure that she doesn't um, conflict with any existing profiles, right? So in this case, would it be acceptable for me to use the birth dates and death dates just to get the profile created, and then we can try to find the sources for them after the fact? Yes. Which might might be the uh, the find it, it might be the tombstone that we have to refer to. Mm. And I know that's kind of, uh, but I think that's where they came up with these dates, honestly. Um, Otherwise, I can just put in 1910 in, in 1993, if that simplifies it. Well, you could, ju uh, you could, you could put 1910, 1910 and then just like about, you know, you know, approximate. Right, right, because I can't actually confirm that it's October 3rd or May 29th. How, how do you, how do you, are you sure you have you looked at all the four sources? Let's look at the sources. So the sources show the United States Census 1930, and that usually doesn't give an exact birth date on there, right? Well, sometimes they do. Sometimes. Yeah, uh, sometimes. Let's look at the county marriages. Maybe, maybe the county marriages have some information. So Cliffy F. Mattingly. Oh, also Cliffy J. Mattingly. So there's some inconsistency here. If the middle name is a J or an F. And, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let's see here. Okay. What's cool is that uh, we actually get some uh, father uh, and mother names out of this. Uh, her birth year, let's see. No, this is Charles Lowenstein's. That's his. Uh, that's her husband. Right, right. So this so, is a marriage certificate. So this is, spouse name is her name. Uh, right. Yeah. So 1911 was estimated for her. She yeah. was 25 when she married, and we know where it happened. So July 12, 1936, in Dayton, Campbell County, Kentucky. Um, but out, outside of that, it, yeah, it doesn't really tell right, us much. Birth What's that? It, it all it gives us is birth years. Yeah, and it's an estimation because, you know, October 3rd isn't too far from it, uh, but we can use it as a source. So let's let's just use it as a source initially to kind of get a birth year down. Um, I'm going to just citate with that. Uh, as I go back to add new person. Okay, so Cliffy Joe. Uh, it's like Cliffy E. And then I guess middle name would be J-O, right? I believe... As far as I've been told, Cliffy Joe was mm -hmm. her name. His A name. And I think the F is her middle name. Okay. So I think I think that's where the confusion came from, where some of it says Cliffy J and some of it says Cliffy F. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I think Cliffy Joe was her entire first name. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of other programs don't break it down like this. So here we can really break it down and establish what the first name is, what the middle name is, et cetera. Um, and then her maiden name was Mattingly. Yes. And then at some point she married Lowenstein. Yeah. Lowenstein? Yeah, Lowenstein. Okay. And so that's, that... why, that's why we think she married uh, mm -hmm. into the Jewish faith. And so her Catholic family may have disowned her and stopped. Was that her only marriage? That was her only marriage. Okay. So her current married last name as of her death would have been Lowenstein. Yes. Okay. And if she had any additional ones, we could add those down below. Uh, no suffixes. Okay, we're going to estimate the birth date right now. If we get another source, we can then clarify that more specific birth date. We're just going to go with 1911. S somehow somebody came up with the other one. So <laughs> it might be on the stone, but we're just going to go with the estimation right now. Uh, do we have an idea of the birth location? Is it given on here? Kentucky, right? Yeah, Kentucky. We're just going to say Kentucky. Right. I keep clicking on that. I'm going to hold on a second. I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that too. There, I don't need them. <laughs> All right. So, good old Commonwealth of Kentucky, United States. All right. Uh, the death date wasn't provided on that source. But again, they're saying up here that 1993, so there should be some kind of obituary, something. Um, it's not within these sources. Find right? my grave. Yeah, and even then, find a grave is like, I can tell people where they're buried, but I can't use any of the other data off of find a grave. Um, so I only let me, let me just mm -hmm. uh, insert a comment there about find a grave. Yeah. Because I know it's a very popular go to. Um, resource 
or family historians, um, we don't consider it uh, a primary source at all. It's a wonderful source of clues, mm -hmm. uh, but you wouldn't want that to be the only source on a profile. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think, uh, especially when there's a bio on a find a grave site, that can really give you some some handy toe holds for then looking for the vital records mm -hmm. that are going to be the, the better sources, you know, the marriage records, the birth records, the censuses. Yeah. Uh, You'll find a lot of people take what they found on like Ancestry and other sites and dump it on the find a grave. So right. now the find a grave is like the source, but you can't actually look at the data that they're pulling from. So right. it's, it's, it's weirdly cyclical. Um, and, and the only time that I use find a grave as a, and I say quotation marks source is there is a burial site. There is a marker for the person. This is telling us where they're buried. That's what I'll cite. And outside of that, everything else is a clue. So yeah, that's tricky. That's why we don't, that's why we can't really confirm the 1993 death date. But what should I do here? Should, should I still put down 1993 as a death date? And as estimated. Yes. We're going to put in this estimate. Okay. And where did she pass away? We said Napa, California. Yeah. And was that the city of Napa or was that Napa County? There is uh, no. Napa, Napa, I believe it's Napa. 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 Oh, okay. I know it's Napa. As we have it, the city of Napa, the county of Napa, that's why it repeats, California, United States. And six. Yep. Uh, we'll establish that she was female at birth. Okay. Now we can choose to write a biography in here or not. It needs a source. I'm going to copy and paste that county marriage that I found earlier because it does require something in that field. I've tried to see so here's the and funny thing I want to note. I've actually tried putting inline citations in my biographies and tried to save the profile like that. And it hates it. It does not accept it at all. It has to have something in the sources field. And I don't know why I can't get by with it in the bio field. Really? I'd like to talk to the tech person about that. Something we can fix in the future. Why don't you default to the advanced option? Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Default to the advanced option. Well, what does that do? I Open more information about sources in a new window. Uh, this is advanced. I, I'm not going to deal with that right now. <laughs> I think it's it's switched to text editing. So it's it's basically when you do this now, everything okay. Oh, that's... it turns it into the uh, the the wiki markup. Oh. Well, if it did it like that, maybe that is the way to get around, okay. right? And yeah. I can still do the inline citation. Okay, so we yeah. we could do it like this. So let's uh, edit this as if we were uh, typing it in. Uh, Cliffy Joe F Mattingly. So Cliffy. Oh, forgot the Joe part. I'm sorry I'm taking too long here with all these details. Um, I don't know. Okay. We're going about 1911 in Kentucky. Yeah. And I don't usually end up putting the United States at the end because it's already in the birth location. Um, you know, I, I could put in something about the marriage, but maybe we should hold off on that. And we could say she. Well, since you're using the, uh, the marriage record as the source. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, really, I know. <laughs> there it is, an inline. It's right there in front of me. Uh, yeah, Charles Lowenstein. <laughs> uh, just temporary oh. placeholder. Um, okay, so let's go back to county marriages again. That location uh, was Dayton, Campbell County, Kentucky, July 12, 1936. And now in this case, as I'm typing out county, I actually like to specify county in the text so that people don't get confused that. For Dayton, that uh, because because it, there is a Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we're, we're not going to be dealing with Ohio. Okay, so this is a statement. She married Charles Lowenstein on July 12, 1936 in Dayton, Campbell County, Kentucky. If this will allow me to do the inline citation here, which is really what I've been trying to do for like three years or uh, ever since they forced this on me, uh, 
I'm going to take it out of the traditional citation at the bottom, and I'm going to inline citation this. Uh, so I'm going to say this is marriage. I'm going to close that. I also like to make it a little pretty, so I do a couple of those. Oh. Paste citation, close it with the ref. Uh, now this doesn't need this here. Uh, that still has the references tag, though. Keep so now that it's... 93. Yes, thank you. Uh, nope, uh, about... Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna save it. Okay, it did not find anybody that looked like Clippy Joe Mattingly. So we're gonna create the profile based on what we have here. Uh, let me just make sure really quick everything else looks okay to you. Does that seemingly look correct? Yep. Given the best information we have, Aunt L? Please, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save this profile. And now profiles have been successfully created. I'm going to get out of this screen and go to the actual profile itself. And this is how it appears to me. Now to somebody else, they're not gonna see these little yellow tags uh, that highlight father, mother. Uh, it, it'll be different text. So it'll actually look like this. So people will still see the name and they'll still see the locations. Uh, and then it'll say siblings unknown, spouse unknown, children unknown. Uh, if you're the profile manager of this, you would then see the previous screen that I had uh, with the yellow, which is this screen right here, right? Oh. So now we'll want you to become the profile manager of this profile yeah. so that you can make those connections to your other ancestors, right? Right. So I'll, we'll have to do the same thing in private. You'll just have to submit the email address in private. And then uh, we'll do the same thing we already demonstrated earlier with... Um, you can do that later. Yeah. Right. So yes, now, that can be done after what, what you want to do right now, if you have a piece of paper handy, is to jot down um, Madeline. I can't see the Mattingly. 2526. Right. So that is the profile ID for Cliffy Joe. Mm -hmm. And so that you can find it again. Okay. But uh, yeah, basically that's how to create a person from scratch without connecting them from a father, mother, brother, spouse, anything. Eventually you'll connect to this person by attaching uh, either their children or, you know, some other family member. Okay. So happy wiki treeing. Thank you for your time. I'll get out of screen share. All right. Um, so we do have um, a question from Sue. Uh, back to the, the privacy issues for living people. Uh, should you be able to see the relatives beyond the private person uh, if someone else added that private person? And so um, that's a great question, Sue. When, when you have an anonymous placeholder for somebody, it does still per, um, situate them within the family. So they would, um, even though you couldn't see their name or um, anything about uh, their birthday or location, you could see that they were, that they are a living sibling of so-and-so or a living parent of so-and-so. Okay. Yeah, I got kind of confused. I was working on um, Tim Walls and his mother okay is still alive yes so um they had put the for the notables they wanted to get some um his cc7 up he's a governor of minnesota the new um right right the yes. right um, and so uh, i added some but they don't seem to connect well he that's an interesting example because um Tim Walls as a notable, you know, as a governor, um, so he's already notable. Um, if if a living relative of a notable is already on there, there like in say on Wikipedia, if if there is um, mention of that living person, um, then it's okay to to put them on wiki tree well she is she has a private profile on here okay his mother mm -hmm. but private then mother, um, i was gonna try and add grandmother because the grandfather was there so i added grandmother to the grandfather but it didn't connect to 
Uh, I see a record. Helen Mary Reiser Ryman attached to the private mother, a Lawrence Friedrich Ryman attached to the, the private mother. Are these okay. the people you're talking about? Is that on the father's side now? Uh, no, no, no. These are not the wall side. Uh, this is the the paternal. This is the maternal side of Tim. Okay. Can you see which one I added? The the mother. Uh, I'll share screen again if that's okay. Yep. Go for it. I already got everything up. I actually delved into this myself. Uh, I started this when we were doing the um. The thon just because he was the governor of Minnesota. Right, right. Yeah, you guys were trying to get the governors together, and now things have really shifted. Um, yeah, so so uh, this is what's publicly available, is that he has a private mother, and he has a deceased father. And uh, I can see that both of his two sets of grandparents are available here. Uh, oh, wow. And then, you know, everything else going back to first great grandparents is filled in. And then there's only some missing uh, German uh, second great grandparents, which is my interest area. So I'm interested in the Jungle Hops here out of Bavaria. Um, okay, yeah, I think this was one I worked on, the Barbara. Yeah, yeah, I see your names attached to it. Okay, and at the time, somebody must have gone through and fixed it because Helen Mary didn't connect to the private one. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If I go to the changes, um, if we can see what happened here. So it looks like you did pretty much all the edits on this person. Yeah. Okay. And, I think I added this one mm -hmm. and added it to the, to the, her husband rather than going down to the. Yeah. If, if I look at the descendants, it, it connects all the way to Tim. Okay. So, okay. so that is continuous. Like if you see it connecting on the ancestors chart and the descendants chart, then then it looks like those connections have been made and there's no okay. or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't that maybe it just took longer than I thought. Uh I mean, yeah, possibly, you know, it could be based on connection. Uh you know, sometimes these things also take time to actually see the connections, like in the connection finder and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. but but usually these uh connections or these relationships are immediate. Like as soon as you make a, a connection between two people, uh, it should show up immediately in the ancestry chart. Um, okay. And, and yeah, that's what I see here is that, you know, the risers connected, the Ryman's are connected, Engel help and et cetera. Um, so okay. there you go. Cool. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. yeah no problem. All right. Well, we're, uh, we're a little past the hour. So um, any, any burning last questions before we call it a night? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my WikiTree ID in the chat, and I know Murray and Steve will do the same. If you go to any of our um, profiles, um, that's how you can get in touch with us. Um, you can send us a private message or you can leave a comment on our profile and we'll get word and, um, you know, happy to answer any follow up questions and also delighted to see any of you back again. Um, you know, yeah. this is not just sort of, a, oh, come once and I, I can't come again. Um, we have like, you know, folks who come for, you know, six of these in a row or, you know. If you keep coming around, we might make you a co-host. So watch out, Anne. <laughs> so thank you all. Yeah, it's coming to replace us all. Okay, so our next one will be um, Sunday, August twenty fifth, uh, and in the morning, uh, eleven a.m. Eastern time. So um, please join us. Okay. All right. Well, happy wiki treeing. Thanks, and everybody, for attending. Everyone.